These are my most viewed videos from 2023. This does not include any episodes. Team Ice Cube is safe. Ah, ah, it's not ice cube. Don't worry, we're not gonna kill you or anything. Oh no, Bracelet is sad again. She'll get over it. It's okay, I've got acid spitballs. One hit and Leafy will disintegrate into ash. Bubble is next. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Yo, let's do this! Whatever! But why are you all wearing that ugly sweater? <gasps> Oi, Chili Crew! It's no use telling him why! She's already on her way! Agreed! What do you mean? Huh? It's her! She's here. The fashion queen has arrived to right this wrong. She will spread the glittery truth of her sweater empire and rid this planet of haters. Wait! I still don't understand! I've always felt that the Eiffel Tower's color was too beige and boring. So color it with paint. Sounds like a fun contest. Loser! I love those. I used to play with them all the time. Loser, these toys were just invented. You said you used to play with them. An hour ago, they didn't exist. They weren't invented yet. You couldn't have been playing with them if they didn't exist. That is a lie. You lied to us, loser. Why did you do that? Why did you intentionally tell us something that was made up? Why did you lie to us, loser? <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all, all. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Out of the plan. <laughs> hey, you wanna see something cool? No! Hey, you wanna see something cool? Hey, you wanna see something cool? Wait, kid, you know cartoons, right? Uh, yeah, I know cartoons. Okay, first of all, pull it back a bit. Second of all, I want you to see this show I've been working on. W Jack, this is Velma. Here, let's watch a clip. I'll explain the joke. So in this scene, Velma and Norville think they're about to be parents, so Norville just runs away. <laughs> is that even uh, supposed to be funny? What? No, I'm trying to make the most infuriating show possible. Jack, no. People aren't gonna watch this because they hate it. People like things that they love. You can share. I could get used to the whole being hated th Do you wanna go to Seattle? No. Hey, why did you bring dirt into the house? That wasn't me. Hey, wait, why is it green? Oh no! Ah! Huh. He's so cute! He looks demented! My name is Leppy, and you need to let me go! Why? I cannot disclose that information! We are gonna let you go! Please! I have to get to the end of the rainbow to receive my pot of gold! If I don't get it before the sun sets, I'll be in deep trouble with the Leprechaun Lords! Your house was just a detour! I guess we can let you go! Well, if you get to the end of the rainbow! I just did not agree to that! You never want to go on any adventures. It's boring. Please? Fine. All right, run up the rainbow or whatever. I used a ball of my leprechaun magic running around your house. 
I don't have enough energy to! Help! <laughs> Thank you! Goodbye, Leppy! You know, I'm gonna miss the little guy. He felt like he was part of the family. We should be parents! Don't push it. There it is! I'm saved! Oh no! <laughs> when making an object show, you are bound to scrap some things. Like this scene from BFDI 3. Weird girl. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Kidding! This was not a real deleted scene, but the point still stands. So what if I told you all that there was an entire season of the Daily Object Show that was scrapped? It never saw the light of day. It was changed during production, and it was called the Daily Object Show, Weapon War, the original season four. Weapon War was gonna take place on a beach, similar to beach battle, but it was gonna feature these six contestants. Bomb, who was taken over by the power source of the evil cloning machine. Sword, whose personality I gave to Spoon later on, about just being the nicest person in the room. Why does your head look like a pair of balls? Rainbow CSGO Knife, who let's just face it is just Scat 2.0. Mace, the only level-headed person there. Honestly, there's not much of a personality with her. Nunchucks, two twins who are a lot like cherries from Object Overload, where they fight all the time. And Shuriken, the silent character who can fly. The story would go that these six would have been best friends competing on the beach with a computer. But then at the end of episode one, the classic scene of Bomb eating the cloning machine would play out. And throughout the season, they would begin noticing their friend Bomb acting a little strange. Eventually, they would discover why, and it'd be a whole conflict and whatnot. I can't remember if the mini clones were a part of this since I didn't write them down that far back. So, for all I know, the mini clones didn't even exist back then, which is crazy to think about. Honestly, looking back at these characters, the story would have been pretty fun. Part of me wishes I could have told it, but ultimately, I am happy with what this eventually turned into. Bomb being possessed by the power source of the evil cloning machine felt more connected to the overall story in Beach Battle. Especially since I was able to bring back Evil Blood Bag, a villain that wasn't really important in season one who finally got their chance to shine as a villain but let me know what you think are you curious as to what weapon war would have turned out like let me know in the comments below the daily object show has had so many seasons in the course of its run but what if i told you that there were many season ideas that didn't make it into the actual show in a previous video i told you all about weapon war a scrap t-dos season that featured a whole cast of characters that had never been seen before but there are a lot more season ideas that also never made the cut let's get started to start off, we have Cookie Crumble. This is one I got inspired to make after a bunch of my friends in 2020 were all playing Cookie Run. For the record, I know nothing about the game, it just got me into thinking about cookies. But the idea for that season was to have five different types of cookies battling for a prize. And then the villain would have been this glass of milk that probably killed them by dunking them or something. Either way, the idea for the cast was there, the idea for a villain was there, not much else was really conceived of it. Another season I was going to do was just called Inside Computer. Honestly, that title probably would have been changed just because that is not a good title for a season. But this season of the Daily Object Show would have taken place during the events of Season 1, where we see the eliminated contestants, Bloodbag, Scat, and Cringe Pill, going on an adventure inside of Computer. The joke of Bloodbag saying, You kept me trapped in there for years! would have been taken literally as they would have been trapped in there for a while with some antagonist that would have been out to kill them. The explanation would have been that time worked differently inside of Computer than in the outside world, but overall, the season was scrapped in favor of other stories. But honestly, I would not mind going back to this idea as a short or in the future maybe. We already did see a glimpse of what was inside of Computer in All Stars, but I'd like to add a lot more onto what was shown because honestly it was a little bit boring to me. Spaced Out. Spaced Out was originally going to be the third season of the Daily Object Show all the way back in August of 2020 when I originally had four seasons of the show planned. It would have taken a cast of characters in a space where they would have had silly space themed challenges. Eventually the season was scrapped, but I did reuse the space theme for TDOS Mini Galactic so it didn't get completely disregarded. Astronomical Annihilation. This season idea didn't originally start out as a TDOS season. I've had this idea for an object show in my head for a couple years now. The general premise is the sun is the host with all the planets as contestants. Pretty basic, but I think it would have been fun. However, early in the TDOS's production, I was able to implement this concept into a season idea. 
Basically, after the really good smelling lotion flew to the sun, it would have been revealed that the sun was alive and it used the lotion for its own competition show with the other planets. It would have been funny, but this was before I originally wanted to use the lotions for more lore heavy stuff. So you can see why this concept was ultimately scrapped. Although I wouldn't say that this idea never happened in universe, as we didn't see the really good smelling lotion for a whole six seasons of TDOS. That would have definitely been enough time for the sun to host a competition show in that time and have the lotion somehow end up back on them for Cobalt Blue to eventually get it in beach battle. But that's alright. The idea is always floating around in case I get bored someday. The original TDOS All-Stars. Oh wait, TDOS already has an All-Star season. Okay, that is true. But this wasn't the original plan for All-Stars. I'm not gonna tell you about this All-Stars. I'm gonna tell you all about the All-Stars that was planned back in August of 2020. So for the record, this is before Mafioso Mayhem, before Cult of Cobalt was an idea, and before all the real-life battle characters. Originally, back when the show was going to have four seasons, the All-Star season would have featured four contestants. Water, the winners of Daily Dash, Moonlight and Nori, and whoever the winner would have been for Spaced Out. The season would have been five episodes long. Those four winners would have competed in challenges until the third episode, where the champion would have been crowned. But then at the end of episode three, Evil Computer and the other two villains would have shown up for revenge, and that would have led into the two-part series finale called The Evil League of Super Objects. I really wish I had been able to use that title in TDOS at some point, just because I really like it. But that's okay. Part of me wishes TDOS had ended like this, a smaller, quicker ending. But it is cool to see how much has been made of the show and how far it came. And with an ending like this, there would have been so much of the world not explored. The super objects wouldn't have been a thing. The real life battle and mafioso mayhem characters wouldn't have existed. Ultimately, the world has expanded so much. And I'm so grateful you all have been here for the last three years to watch it. I still can't believe there's only one more episode left. Better get to work on it. Let's finish this. There is a really cool Roblox BFDI roleplay called BFDI World of Koiki, and it has these really cool models on it. They literally look just like the 2D characters, but they're in 3D. You can see, look at that, look at that. They have so many of these characters. And what makes this even cooler is that you can actually like change the expressions on these. You just saw it, they blinked as well. And yeah, it's just really cool seeing how advanced this is. You can see there's a lot of people over there. But we're not here to spend time with them. We're here to create a BFDI short using this game. So in this game, um, you, have, you have these many like worlds you can teleport to. One of them is a green screen world where you can actually have the characters on top of a big green screen right here. Oh, hello, four. But yeah, this got me thinking. What if using this green screen, I can just make my own BFDI short? Because the characters in this game, like they're already on model, the 2D ones. They blink, and you can also change their expressions however you feel like. And granted, there isn't actually any lip sync. Like, watch this. Right, but hello, I'm Leafy. The character's mouths just open, they don't really do lip sync. But if I green screen this character model onto a 2D background, and then did my lip syncing in Adobe Animate, and then green screen that on top of it, you could get something that looks kind of like a normal object show animation. And so that's what I'm gonna be trying to do today. I already wrote out a small BFDI short using Flower, Blocky, and the announcer. So yeah, we're gonna be making a BFDI short using these Roblox models. Let's get to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to first get all the footage I need for this short. And that's gonna require going back and forth on the script and the model sheet right here. And just making sure I get the right poses and everything that I need. Because remember, these characters are gonna be green screened onto like an actual 2D background. So after this, I ended up recording the voices on UberDuck and using the AI on there, and then also just finding sound effects on YouTube. Once those were edited together, I animated the lip sync on a green screen in Adobe Animate, and then after I had everything I needed. I honestly don't recommend anyone doing this, this took way too long. This was a little obnoxious to put together, and it honestly it would have been quicker if I just did it all in Animate. But it was for the little experiment, so... And here is the finished short. I'm gonna beat you, Flower! Blocky, you think you're so smart. Take this. Time for the challenge. Blocky, Flower, your next challenge is to get over this giant wall. Go. Still hang up. Watch this, Blocky. 
Those were both pretty bad. Watch this. I guess I win immunity. You both are up for elimination. Viewers vote between Blocky and Flower to be eliminated. Yeah! Yeah, I don't know. That came out all right for, I mean, what I was going for, I guess. I probably wouldn't actually make a short like this in the future just because it is a little, like, time-consuming. But this was still really fun to do. But yeah, that's it for me today. So I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when I teach a baby orangutan how to fight Kang. Get out of my green screen! Get the fuck away from me! Wait. I can't believe there was so much to see in this world. I'm gonna have so many stories to tell Tablet Pin when I get back. Ah! Hey, watch where you're go- Oh, n never mind. You're just a baby. Hello? Oh, can you not talk? Uh... That's okay, we can still have fun. Come on! Recover! That's right! That's a recovery center! Sketchpad! No! I'll save you! Wait, if I'm a clone of Toast, that means I might have some of her jelly abilities. Come on, jelly powers! I did it! Awesome! <sighs> I had a fun day today. I'm glad I finally met someone my size for a change. You know, I've been away from home for a long time. You should come with me to meet some old friends. Let's go!
Welcome everyone to the Daily Object Show. Today's competition will be a little bit different. You five will each take a sniff of the really grimace smelling lotion. And whoever's the last alive will win. Is this even a real lotion? It's artificial, just like those mini lotions. I just thought it would be fun. Now go! Uh, where am I? Oh! Oh, hey, the beach. Wait, what's that sound? Blood bag, are you alive? Uh, Good enough for me, you win! Hooray! Subscribe and leave a comment as to which one is your favorite. Thanks for an amazing year, everyone. See you all in 2024.